Greetings and thank you so much for joining us today on our daily devotion. This week we've been talking about the ABCs of faith, the fundamentals, the essentials, the basics of faith. We want to add to our learning this week by reminding us that when we exercise our faith, one of the things the Lord Jesus taught us is that in our hearts we must come to a place where we believe that something has already done even before we see it happen in the natural. We go back to the passage in Mark chapter 11, verses 22, 23, and 24. In verse 22, Jesus said, Have faith in God. In verse 23, He said, Whoever therefore says to this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will come to pass. He will have whatever he said. And then in verse 24, he says, And when you stand praying, whatever you ask, he says, Believe that you have received them, and you will have them. So continuing on on the same theme of having faith in God, after you speak, he also said, When you pray, what must you believe? Believe that you have received them. So how can I believe that I have received them? Because faith is the proof is of ownership. Faith is a proof of existence. It's a proof of ownership. I have it. It's a proof of existence. It is there, even when it's not revealed in the tan to the tangible senses. So faith is that conviction, that confidence, that assurance. How does it come? By the Word of God because God has spoken. So we come to a place where we believe it's done. That means as far as the matter is concerned, because we have had faith in God, it's settled. Believe that you have received it. God, it's done in the spiritual. You have promised it. I've come into agreement with this. With this, I settle the matter in the spiritual. In the spiritual, I've got my title D, a proof of ownership. In the spiritual, I've got the proof of existence. I've got the evidence. I settle it. Believe that it is done. And Jesus said, you'll have it. That's the way we have faith in God. And how, can, how do we come to that place? Through His Word. Feed your spirit with His Word until you come to that place where you're fully persuaded the matter is settled. And then you will see things happen in the natural. Let's pray. Lord, we pray that and ask that we'll continue to learn how to exercise faith in God, how to live by this faith each and every day, in every matter, in every area of our lives. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.